and submitting and receiving a false gospel is to be bewitched. It means you are under a satanic power that does not make you think like you have to think. And if you don't think like you have to think, you don't act like you have to act. The word in Greek is baskaino. It means to malign. It means to speak ill of one. It means to slander. It also means to bring evil on someone feigning false praise. But the Greek word baskaino means to um to to look at someone with an evil eye. That is the meaning of the Greek word. And the Italian word is malocchio. Evil eye. What evil eye has deceived the African church? What false gospel has been preached to the African church? It is to charm. But the word is to slander. Is it possible that the church of Jesus Christ can be cursed? Paul says the church in Galatia had come under a curse. And what was the curse? They had received a false gospel. Paul says that the church in Galatians had been bewitched. And to be bewitched means to be slandered. For us, when we talk about slander, it is somebody spoiling my name. We never associate it with witchcraft. And tonight, my theme says, the care, the bonking, the myth of the care, the bonking, the curse of harm. And the subtitle is, Exorcism from the Bewitchment of Western Christian Hermeneutics and Exegesis. Is it possible that the African church and the black people have been, am I accusing the white church of presenting a false gospel to the Africans? Am I suggesting that the false gospel has caused a kind of bewitchment to the African people, to the black people? Yes, that is what scripture is saying. And I'm going to prove it to you. But before that, Paul says to bewitch a people is to slander a people. Let me take you to the book of Numbers, chapter 23. Numbers chapter 23 talks about a very potent diviner. This is a strange diviner comfort. A servant of Satan who still hears also from God. And in Numbers chapter 23, scripture declares that when God had finally delivered Israel from the captivity, from the empire of the Egyptians, the black people, Israel goes towards its promised land which Israel suggests is Canaan an African land a black people's land and whilst they are going they are going towards territories and conquering territories so the king of Moab in fear calls a diviner a, a shaman one who has supernatural powers to come and do something to come and do what? To curse. To place a curse to the Israelites. The question is that if you have, your army is strong. Israel were just poor slave and slave people that had just been delivered. They didn't have any strong military. They, had, they were marching in military causes because their leader, Moses, was a military leader. But they wouldn't be, I suggest, as strong as the Moabites. Yet there is something about these people that scares the Moabites. It is not their physical strength, but their spiritual strength. That is why I suggest that there is something about the black people that scares the nations. It is not their physical strength. It is not their material strength, even though God blessed them with material strength. Indeed, my country was called Gold Coast. When I was growing, they told me that we could play football with gold on the street. And when you read every story in scripture about the black people, God gave them a good land. A land flowing with Michael on Canaan is a land of blacks. A land where water is flowing, Egypt, a land 
of blacks. God blessed their land. Indeed, even the Garden of Eden, the river from the Garden of Eden flows through the land of black people. Can you imagine how God had blessed black people? And for this cause, there was something. Just like the king of Moab was scared of Israel and called a diviner to go and curse Israel. And without that. Called a diviner to go and curse Israel. In Numbers chapter 22, Bible says that Numbers chapter 23. He says, um, and Balaam said to ba uh, sorry, let me go to verse 22 so we can find exactly what he said. He said. And Moab was terrified. Numbers 22. Numbers chapter 22 verse, 20, verse 3. And Moab was terrified at the people and full of dread. Did you see? It is fear that makes one want to subjugate another people. So if somebody looks down on you, it is not because you are inferior. It is because the person has a low inferiority complex. The person finds something in, in, in you that they cannot beat, that they cannot match. And therefore they have to use trickery to take what belongs to you. And so, Balaam was this, um, sorry, Moab was distressed and overcome with fear. And Moab consulted its elders and they sent a messenger to a diviner, a fortune teller, but he's also a politician who uses his political demagogy to slander a people. And so indeed, they tell him in verse 6, Come, I beg you, curse this people. Put place witchcraft, bewitch them. Curse this people means bewitch them. Curse this people, for they are too powerful for me. Maybe you never thought that is the reason for the subjugation of the black people. But scripture is telling it, this is the reason. When a people is too powerful and another is not able to subdue them, what do they use? They put, they use a curse. He says, perhaps I may be also able to defeat them and drive them out of the land. For I know that he whom you bless is blessed and whom you curse is cursed. So now, they're saying that this politician, his mouth is like a weapon. Whoever he blesses will be blessed. Whoever he curses. Now, the word is, what is the meaning of the curse? Here, the meaning of the curse means to do what? He said, it means to slander. <laughs> Many of you never thought like it, Vero. You never thought that the, the skill of Balaam was not just using supernatural power. Of course, his words were backed by supernatural power. But his skill was to slander. What is the meaning of slander? To speak evil of another. To the end of their destruction. What does scripture say? The tongue is like a weapon. It destroys the tongue. On the tongue is death and life. Slander kills. And Paul is telling us in the book of Galatians that there was a kind of teaching that was going on in the church in Galatians. Teaching, gospel, preaching. And that preaching was witchcraft. When you hear that preaching, it's like Satan speaking to you. When you hear that preaching, it is like a diviner cursing you. But until somebody comes with a cloth on there, just a cloth with, um, how do you call it, a bro, bro dear, how do you call it, with a shaman stick, and begins to say, <laughs> you will never, or until like the king of Babylon, someone slays an animal, reads enchantment on it, you never see it as witchcraft. Witchcraft is what? Invoking supernatural power. Witchcraft operates through slander. Here is a people God has blessed. 
there is a nation God has bled, and there is another nation saying, these people are too strong for me. So, he uses supernatural weapon, and he employs a politician who is a diviner to do what? Not to go and put some magic stone in the road where Israelites will pass, but to speak evil on them. Has this happened to the Africans? Yes. And that is what I want us to look at before we would look at how we can exercise ourselves. And I mean this kind of witchcraft, this kind of curse, this kind of false gospel was promoted by what? Western Christianity. Did you say amen? Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We bless you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Rabba, ba, 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 yade. And so I'm taking you to the history of the curse of Ham. I asked a few people and they told me they've not heard anything like that. Have you ever heard the, of the curse of Cain that when God set a seal on him, it was, it made him become black? And so he's this, this, all descend, all black people are his descendants. And so all black people are cursed. Haven't you heard it before? Have you heard about the curse of harm? That because of the sin he committed, God cursed him and his descendants. And so all black people are cursed. And for this cause, all black people are inferior. And all white people and all, uh, how do you call it, people of Israel are superior. Have you heard about the curse of Canaan also? That all black people come from Canaan and since Noah cursed Canaan, all black people are cursed. Have you heard of it before? If you haven't, I'm taking you to the history. That is what we call false gospel. As a false gospel was being preached in Galatia, so from the Middle Ages, 14th, 15th century, all through.